Well, the Marvel's trailer hasn't even been out an entire day yet. <laughs> and the discourse has already started. Now, in case you missed it, I did do a reaction to the entire trailer. I put that video out earlier today. If you want to see the entire thing, please check that out. So, the trailer itself looks cheap. Doesn't look like anything groundbreaking. Just looks like another typical Phase 4 5 Marvel movie. That's not a good thing. It just looks like a girl boss movie, basically, which I think people are starting to get a little tired of, actually. So I'm curious to how this will play out in theaters. It's it's impossible to say. It really is, but it's a cheap-looking set. I mean, this looks cheap. The costumes for these characters look cheap. I don't think it's going to be a good movie. I would... I would be willing to bet <laughs> bet something that it's not going to be a good movie. Also, learned that this movie has been delayed five times. Five times, at least according to Nerdrotic. I was watching a little bit of his BBC stream that he does with ass, and he had said that the movie has been delayed five times, and I, I tend to believe him. I don't know why he would... Why he would make that up? I'm 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 aware it's been delayed quite a few times. I didn't know five times though. That's a lot. That tells me that Disney doesn't have any confidence whatsoever in this movie. Uh, it, just, it looks awful. That's of course uh, Victoria Alonso's job. Like the shitty CGI in the beginning where she goes and touches that thing for no reason. I don't know why you need to touch something in space to get readings on it. Why doesn't your suit have sensors of some kind? But okay, you needed to touch it. This looks bad. This was Victoria Alonso's job to make sure that this looks good. I mean, how many more bad examples of CGI do we need to see to understand why she was fired? The media is trying to simp for her because of, of course, her identity. That's why her she needs to stay working. It's because of her identity, her multiple identities, by the way. Because she's a person of color and she also has sexual identities. But I did want to point out here, there's a couple things that have been brought to my attention. Number one, look at the ratio. Uh, it might get ratio. 271,000 likes to 151,000 dislikes. That's crazy. And it's funny because look at this one, right? Over here, here's another one from Rotten Tomatoes trailers. This one's been ratioed. Though it has nowhere near the same amount of people that have watched it. I'm just pointing out. It's been ratioed. This one also has some strange stuff going on in the comments. Look at some of these names. Rob Roblox. So glad we're getting more of Monica. What? She was in a TV show. 17,000 likes. This looks a lot better than I originally thought it would. And then bad boy again, I'm legitimately impressed. 50K challenge with zero video. What? Do you think these are bots? And it's funny, when you look through this, a lot of these people on here are all praising it. You have to really scroll down. And I'm talking really scroll down if I can even find one. To find a negative comment about this. Some of these are the same comments. Here's one. You can tell uh, Vidania has really settled into this role and has improved her comedic timing. When you go back up, there's another comment, if I can find it again, that has something similar to what that says. We talk about her comedic timing. It's 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 on here somewhere near the top, but yeah, right here. Look at this one. 50K challenge. You can tell that she's really settled into this role and has also improved her comedic timing. It's the same comic that I it's the same comment that I found just scrolling halfway down the video here. So I found I just found that real time. <laughs> Here's bad boy again. With the, almost the same 
Comment. One minute ago, bad boy. The idea of characters switching places and using their powers is such a cool idea. Really excited to see how creative the fight scenes get with that in mind. And you go back up. This is the same comment. I'm legitimately impressed. The idea of power entanglement and switching places is pretty neat. That's the same kind of comment. These are bots. At least that's my, that's my guess. We can take a look at his channel here. Five months ago, three months ago, I'm not sure. All I know is something, something is very, very strange with this, with this, with these comments. You've got people saying the same comments as other people, and I have to scroll. All I can't even find a negative comment about this. And don't tell me people aren't saying negative things. I think they're being hidden because this ratio, 154,000 dislikes. This trailer should be full of some interesting conversations between people. And all I'm seeing is people sucking off the movie. So I'm not saying there's something going on, but I'm, I sure am suspicious to controlled commenting here. Bots, there's some weird shit going on. Now, of course, people are also freaking out that, oh, people might come out and criticize it. Bracing myself for the sheer number of basement-dwelling neckbeards that have temper tantrum meltdowns over the Marvel's trailer tomorrow. Toxic nerds, go to therapy, please. <laughs> You're hilarious. Left can't meme. Uh, the media reactions, of course, are funny. Now, we learned that the media simps for this movie because Disney commands it. And we have actual evidence of that. Everybody in our industry occasionally has to play softball, occasionally has to, you know, look the other way a little bit. Everybody has to do it. Wait, wait, we're turning what? Like a in, movie in, in, bad, in the sense or? that, you know, I hated a movie, but I won't say that I hated the movie or a, an actor behaved a sort of way and you don't want to, you know, get it, put right. it out there that that happened. Right. Because right, you might not get the next review. The right. Next so to some okay. degree, everybody in our industry that is a part of this quote unquote access media has to sort of decide which battles they want to pick. You can look forward to a lot of simping by the media when it comes to this. Let's take a look at some of these headlines real quick before we end the video. Just searching the Marvels, a lot of shit's already already dropping and uh, picking up. But here's some of my favorites. The Marvels' first trailer for Captain Marvel's sequel drops. Brie Larson says new film digs into complexities of Captain Marvel's character. Here's from Variety. The Marvel's first trailer. Brie Larson leads an all-female superhero trio in Captain Marvel's thick wall. Pretty straightforward, but I like the use of all-female in it. And here's another one. Heroic MCU trio. How many? Hey, how are they heroic? No one's seen them do anything. Oh, and this villain looks awful. Surprised they didn't give her like a fupa. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm looking forward to more cringe. I, I I love Marvel cringe and Disney cringe because Disney, for one, I especially can't stand for all that they've destroyed culture wise. So I, I always do enjoy seeing seeing Disney fail. Uh, we got a whole we got a whole summer of this movie and all of the cringe and attacks that the media will make on people that criticize it. It's going to be fun. So get ready for that. And then when the movie comes out, it'll be fun to take a look at it because it's like how low will it go? Will this one actually fail or will it do well? I don't think this character is popular like they like to say she is because the comic book's been canceled at least 13 times and rebooted because no one reads it. So we'll see. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble Locals, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here i do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me also it's a good place to catch all of my content you don't have to worry about notifications 
like YouTube, they'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.